I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 317 of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX Let's Play. And guys, if you missed last episode, we went to the Fantasy Strait chasing after Shiny Altaria. We did get two Altaria encounters, unfortunately none of them were Shiny. So today we're going to be going to... Mount Far Away, where we're going to chase after Shiny, Celebi, and or Riolu. I was going to grab Reviver Seeds, but nah, we don't need them. We're not going to recruit anybody but Celebi and Riolu, so if we see him, obviously. So that's the plan. We're going to go to the 30th floor as usual, get that guaranteed um, Invitation House, or Mystery House, whatever you want to call it. I call them both, <laughs> but uh, that's the plan today. Um, also, kind of a new thing we've been doing uh, to kind of fill some time, because last time we did Mount Far Away, we finished in like 20 minutes. I like to keep these around 30 minutes or so. Uh, so kind of fill some time. We're kind of going to explore these floors a little bit more thoroughly when there isn't a monster house or a fainted Pokemon, because you never know. It could be a mystery house, um, but once I get closer on time we will uh, speed up the process a little bit, right? Especially the dungeons like with Magikarp and Altaria, because there's a chance that I can spawn more of them, right? So like every Pokemon that spawns on the floor has a chance of being the, the rare spawn. So in this dungeon, it could be Electrode, though we don't need Electrode or Shiny Electrode. We have seen many Shiny Electrodes, and I'd like to see no more, because I feel like it siphons my really shitty already Shiny Luck. So... That's all I gotta say about that. So we're done with this floor, we can move on. That's why I brought those bigger apples, because uh, it's gonna take a lot of apples to get through this, if we're gonna explore, like, every floor very thoroughly. But anyways, if you look at the top left of your screen, guys, whether you're watching on your TV, your, um, your tablet, your wristwatch, your Etch-a-Sketch, maybe you're watching me on a Tamagotchi, you guys remember those? I think Tamagotchis are still around, by the way. I just haven't seen them since I was in grade school. Anyways, whatever device you're watching me on, look at the top left of your screen. We're currently at 464 out of 474. And of course, that 474 number includes every single individual Pokemon in the Pokedex, including all 28 Shinies, which we currently have 25 of. And includes all 28 Unknown, which I know this is going to sound crazy. It's going to sound insane. It's going to sound absolutely ludicrous. But we have all 20 unknown. That's right. We have A through Z. A through Z if you're from, you know, the UK. Or I guess do all Europeans call it Z? I don't know. I'm not an expert. Um, yes, we have all the ex we have the explanation mark, the question mark. All 28 unknown. I know it's crazy, but we've done it. And it includes all those. But we're missing 10 Pokemon. Obviously, we're missing Shiny Celebi and Riolu. That's what we're here for. But we're also missing Shiny Magikarp. We're missing Shiny Altaria. We're missing Skeptile, Grovile, Skitty. That's a weird one, but we're missing Skitty. We're missing Umbreon, Sylveon, Leafeon. I believe that's it. I may have missed one. I always feel like I missed one. But I think that's all ten. Um, and of course, once we get all those ten Pokemon, we are done with this series. After almost two full years of playing uh, this particular game. Three years if you count Blue Rescue Team, because this is virtually the remake of that game. Um, but anyways. Very exciting stuff. I'm hoping we can see at least one uh, of the Riolu or the Shiny Celebi today, which is why... Excuse me, we've increased our efforts of finding monster houses... Or not monster houses, mystery houses... Um, outside of just the guaranteed one, because on this dungeon, guys, that's why we do this dungeon, the 30th floor has a guaranteed mystery house, which is the best way that we can uh, try to farm uh, mystery house spawns, right? That's why it almost might be worth it for me just kind of like speed through these instead of look for an extra room, because I mean, I don't know what the chances are of them spawning. Maybe they're 5%, 10%, 1%, 0.333% repeating, of course. It could be any of those numbers. I have no idea. And I'm sure there's no number out there. Um, I've looked in the past for, like, shiny Pokemon rates in this game. No one's ever done uh, the data mining or whatever that I could see, you know, online. 
So those numbers aren't out there. So I can't imagine that someone's done the numbers for mystery houses. But who knows? Maybe I'd be surprised. Uh, this means we're going to have to use an ether, which is always annoying. If you don't know when they have that like purple mark over their head, uh, whatever move you use to, to hit them, it reduces your PP to zero. But yeah, our current plan, like I said, is to uh, search every floor. Once we get closer to 20 minutes, I'll probably speed things up. But for now, we could get lucky, find another mystery house. That'd be amazing. But I feel like this is a necessary step to help maybe get there faster. Because I really would love to be done uh, with this game. Not that I'm not having fun. I love this game. This game's great. I've been playing it for almost almost two years. Not tired of it. I still enjoy Mystery Dungeon. Mystery Dungeon is one of my favorite spin-offs. However, I do want to finally get these Pokemon Snap videos up that I've had for almost a year now. Alright, so we got a, a, an Electrode. We don't need Electrode, obviously. And we have Snow Run, so we don't need to explore the entire floor. Because if there's a fainted Pokemon or a Monster House, you can only get one of these, right? You can only get a Monster House or a fainted Pokemon or an Invitation House. You can only have one of those three on any given floor, right? You will not find two. So, since there's a fainted Pokemon here, we know that there won't be a Mystery House guaranteed. So we can simply look for the exit. As for Electrode goes, well, as you guys already know, we have Shiny Electrode already. And honestly, seeing a wild Shiny Electrode that we don't need is only going to piss me off. <laughs> because we're kind of in a Shiny Dry spell right now. So uh, I don't want to see it if it's Shiny, because it's going to make me feel like it's uh, our Shiny Luck is fading away. And we use it all up on this Electrode that we don't need. So I'm just going to quickly go through here, because if it is Shiny, I don't want to see it. Now we're seven floors deep. Right, so no uh, monster house here, no uh, fainted Pokemon, so we'll look through the entire floor. We know where the stairs are at. I don't know if there's like a specific like map size, like if a floor is like so small, like this floor is pretty small um, in comparison to like the last floor. If a monster house could even, or not a monster house, but a mystery house could even be on this floor, I have no idea. I don't know the exact science behind it. But if you do know these answers, please, for the love of God, let me know. <laughs> I would love to know. All right, eighth floor. Right now we're going through about one floor a minute on average, which is a fine ratio. You know, let's just gonna skip this floor here. Screw it. Meanwhile, in the back of my head, that could have been the floor. That could have been the floor of the mon uh, a mystery house. I guarantee you, it wasn't. <laughs> We're going to hit with that Hydro Pump. Oh yeah, I can turn their attacks on. I always forget to do that when I do this dungeon. I'll right, we'll explore this floor real fast. I guess if we get a floor where the stairs are literally on our spawn, we'll just take the we'll just take the stairs. You know what I mean? But if we've already like explored half the floor, we might as well just finish. Alright, we're now a third of the way through. Alright, so for example, the stairs here. Take them. Screw it. Alright. Blast Seed. Alright, we'll check this whole floor out. Apple. Probably could have used that apple to be honest. I'm actually gonna go back for it. You fucking dickhead. Get out of here. Oh, it's uh, sticky. Nothing worse than a sticky apple, let me tell you. Let's go through here. Alrighty. 
Alrighty. Twelfth floor. Sorry if I'm not talking much. As I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned in this video or not. Definitely did last video. But uh, before I started recording Mystery Dungeon today, I'd already recorded four, uh, some videos for uh, Mario Galaxy. Did eight videos in a row. Eight videos in a row. And then I've already done two videos of Mystery Dungeon on top of that, so ten videos pretty much in a row. I took like one 20 minute break. So, uh... <laughs> A little tired, a little out of energy, but I wanted to record at least a handful of Mystery Dungeon videos today. And we got to the point where we're almost like we're so close to being done with uh, Mario Galaxy. I think we could probably finish in like five more episodes. Um, so I might try to take some time this week to finish it off. Alright, so again, this floor, there's a ladybug here, so we don't need to explore the entire floor. Because we know there won't be a uh, mystery house here. So yeah, I'm a little, uh, a little out of energy, and also a little hoarse in my voice, just a little bit. But that's alright. I'm only going to do like one more video after this one, and I'm going to call it a night there, and i got to do some editing and all that fun stuff. And, uh, got some other stuff I need to get done as well. For example, I need to do some more, uh, I need to play a lot of games on Pokemon Unite for the Battle Pass, before the Battle Pass expires. Uh, expires in like five days, and one of the missions is I gotta do 50 battles. So I'm trying to do like, I don't know, like 10 games a day on quick games. I mean, 10 games sounds like a lot, but when you do quick games, it's like 30 minutes worth of games, so it's not that bad. Right? It'd be, I guess it'd be 50 minutes, it'd be like an hour, I mean, it's not that bad. You know, while I'm editing, I can quickly just do a couple quick games. Maybe like one ranked game, just switch it up a little bit. I don't know. All right, we're officially halfway through, and we're at 13 minutes, so that's not bad. So we're doing a, we're at a pretty good uh, pace here, I would say. It's almost Apple time. I would love to see at least one more an additional uh, mystery house, but I don't think it's going to happen. But we're trying, damn it. <sighs> I am getting tired though too, man. I've been recording today since like... Um, I'd say around 3 p.m. And it's almost midnight. And again, I took a little break. And, you know, I mean, I, I, I went to the bathroom and stuff, too, but, like, like, an actual break. I took about 20 minutes to eat dinner. And I had ate lunch before I started. So. Long recording. It's been a while since I've recorded, like, that many videos in a day. Yesterday I recorded nine uh, Fire Emblem videos. In a row, actually. I don't think I even took a break. Um... As I mentioned, this would be number 11, video number 11. It's been a while since I've gone over 10 in a day, but it's good. I'm glad I uh, glad I am. As you drink lots of water. Mm. That's the stuff, baby. Excuse me. In the next episode, guys, regardless of what happens here today, we're going to do Marvelous C, chasing after Shiny Magikarp. We'll probably do some more uh, exploration like this, too, on those uh, in that dungeon to kind of fill some uh, time. But if I start to feel like I'm getting kind of tired, I might try to rush through it a little bit faster. We'll see. 
But I think, like, right now I feel fine. Like, I'm just, like, a little... Just a little, uh... Out of energy. Like I said, my voice is feeling a little, uh... A little hoarse. I can feel... Some discomforts. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. But it's going to be a very long week of recording for me. <laughs> As I mentioned... Uh, a few episodes back... Legends Arceus comes out for me in just a few days. It's already it's already out by the time you see this video. And uh I'm gonna be recording a lot of videos when it comes out. Very excited. Um an electrode. I almost got excited, but I just remembered we don't need electro, so I don't even want to see it. Honestly, if uh I see stairs, I might just take them so I don't see the electrode. We're gonna see the electrode. It's not shiny, thank goodness. Okay. Excuse me. But I got I'm gonna be recording some videos tomorrow. I'm not maybe I'll maybe I'll slow down tomorrow a little bit. Cause really I just have to record Digimon tomorrow. And maybe I'll just record like five episodes or something. Which will roughly take about three hours, which isn't too bad. Right. Um I could definitely do that. Um I can even break it up a little bit, maybe do three during the day, three at night, if I wanted to. So I might slow down just a little bit tomorrow, just to kinda give my voice a little bit of a break. And then Thursday, undecided, but I might do some, uh, I might just finish off Mario Galaxy. Or I might just take a full break. If I, if, I, if I feel like I need to take a break, I don't have to record Thursday if I record tomorrow. I'll straight up just take a full day off. That way Friday, if I do get my game in the mail, which I'm really hoping I do, because I'm a little nervous because of what happened with Diamond and Pearl. Um, when I ordered from PokemonCenter.com. Took over a week to get here. After release, I should mention. I, I had pre-ordered it months in advance. But that didn't stop it from uh, not showing up on time. So I'm hoping it shows up on Friday. And if it does, I'm going to be recording a holiday long. Very excited. Saturday, I'll take a little bit of a break. Cause, uh, as I mentioned before in other videos, the Royal Rumble will be on. Wrestling event. Always my favorite uh, wrestling event of the year. So I'll be taking a break to watch that. Gonna make me some uh, some dip for like a little special treats. Uh, basically, it's called a Texas trash dip. It has refried beans in it. Um, I can tell you, there's six ingredients. It's real easy to make. You just use a crock pot, right? It's real easy to make. I don't know the exact measurements off the top of my head, but you can easily find it if you look at like Texas trash dip. But it has uh, refried beans. I believe 28 ounces. It's either 28 or 32 ounces of refried beans. Honestly, you can do either one. It's probably not going to affect the, the taste too much. Um, we don't have to look this entire floor because Magby's here. Um, it takes, I believe, three-fourths cup of salsa. I like to use like a medium or a hot salsa. But mild's fine too. doesn't matter. Um, a packet of taco seasoning. A pound of ground beef. Um, 16 ounces. I know this for a fact. 16 ounces of Velveeta cheese. Or just any type of like processed cheese like that. Um, we use an off-brand cheese from Aldi's. But it's virtually the same thing. Right? So Velveeta cheese. And um, 8 ounces. Or like just like a full brick of cream cheese. I believe that's all. Did I mention all six ingredients? Let me think about this for a minute. Ground beef, salsa, taco seasoning, cream cheese, Velveeta, and refried beans, right? Hopefully, I didn't repeat any of those uh, ingredients more than once. But I'm pretty sure those are the exact measurements, by the way. If not, pretty darn close. But it essentially, it's like a taco dip, right? I love tacos, and uh, this dip's really easy to make. It takes about four hours for it to cook on the crock pot, for, like on low. Um, if you really wanted to rush it, you could put it on high, um, but I usually just stick it on low uh, for four hours. That's what it suggests. Okay, so there's a fainted Zubat here, so again, we could just leave immediately on this floor. We're 20 minutes deep. I think might maybe search like one more floor thoroughly, but we're pretty much gonna start speeding things up here in a minute. 
Uh, but yeah, the Texas trash chip, really good. And then you, you obviously use tortilla chips or uh, corn chips. I like corn chips a little bit better. Um, but either one's fine. I'll take either one. I'm not gonna say no to either. But it's really good. Like I said, it's kind of like a, like it tastes like a taco, right? Like it's a taco dip. And you could do other variations if you want to. Like if you had like, you know, no taco seasoning, for example, it still tastes fine. Still gonna taste like a cheese dip, you know. Um, if you didn't have refried beans, it still tastes fine, right? It wouldn't have. It wouldn't be like a refried bean dip if you if you want a bean dip, but it would still taste like a, you know, like a, like a cheesy dip, you know. Velveeta dips, in particular, are pretty versatile. And you can do a lot. Like you can make literally just a simple. Um, just you can literally just throw a brick of Velveeta cheese in a crock pot, cook it for a couple hours on low or medium or high, whatever you want to do, and you can just make a cheese dip. Like it's that simple, right? Um, or you can get like uh, even just like even just like Velveeta and like salsa. We'll make a nice little dip as well. I mean, but I, I like me personally. I love the refried bean portion of it as well. I love I love a good bean dip. So, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, pretty damn good. So I'll be making that this weekend. Nice little treat, reward myself. And, uh, looking forward to it for sure. And who knows? Perhaps I'll make tacos as well for dinner. Have everything for it. <clears throat> um, if you didn't know, tacos is probably, like, my favorite meal to make. Obviously, it's very easy, very quick, and so fucking good. Oh. I feel like, like, tacos from home are better than any other place. Like, any other place you can get tacos from, personally. Where it comes, like, to restaurants, or, like, why do I make, why do I need an apple? I need an ether, that's what I need. Um, when it comes to, like, f like, restaurants or, like, fast food places, tacos at home, so much better, man. Let me tell you something. If you want to make like the ultimate taco, and I usually don't use sour cream, but maybe put some sour cream on there, refried beans, obviously uh, taco meat, um, you put some uh, lettuce, cilantro, black olives, onions, some shredded cheese, and honestly shredded cheese isn't as important like what kind it is. It could be just like a fiesta, like a fiesta blend that you get at Walmart or something. It could be cheddar. It could be uh, mozzarella. It could be any, honestly, whatever, right? Shredded cheese. I'm not too picky about that portion of it. And then taco sauce. I like a nice. Uh, what's the brand called? I can't think of it at the top of my head. Damn it. Gosh darn, I can't think of it. Any other time I can. Sauce brand. I'll, I'll see it immediately. Ortega. I like Ortega. <clears throat> so Ortega, I like to get like medium Ortega, so it's a little bit hotter. If I don't have medium Ortega, maybe we just have mild. I'll throw some hot sauce on there. Oh, it's so good. And also, of course, hard shell. Gotta have the hard shell. And you gotta toast them in the oven. For about six minutes or so, on about like 375 or so. Oh baby, oh baby, get excited just thinking about it. All right, so prime apes here, so we don't have to worry about even thinking about searching here. So no extra uh, uh, mystery houses, that's okay. But we still have the mystery house on the next floor. Will we get lucky? Can we get shiny Celebi? Can we get Riolu? I'm happy with either one. Um, so please. I'm begging. That looks like a monster house at the bottom, though. I'm gonna check it out for pure science, because I have read that you can only have one or the other. Like, you can only have a monster house. Yeah, it's not a monster house. Okay. Just a lot of items down here. That happened last time we were, uh, in Mount Faraway as well. I was like, wait, this looks like a monster house over here. Alright, so here's the mystery house. Please. I'm begging you. Please. Give me one of the two. Damn it. 
I even saw the pink on Metachamp for a minute, because Shiny Celebi's pink. And I was like, oh, and then, no, it wasn't. All right, well, that's fine. Next episode will be the Marvelous Sea. 25 minutes, not bad, not bad. Going to skateboard out of here. Yeah, love tacos. As you guys can clearly tell. Um, and I'll eat on tacos because honestly, there's usually a, like I'll usually make enough for those leftovers. I'll eat tacos for you know later at night. Maybe I'll eat them for lunch the next day. Maybe even dinner the next day. You know. But you know, tacos. You know, like once a month or something. Nice little meal. But maybe we'll do that this weekend as well. Who knows? Who knows? Is that too much? Tacos and taco dip? My mind's saying yes, but my heart is saying hell no. Bring it on. So. Alright. So let's quickly do some item management. Don't have to do too much here. Get rid of this stuff. And just because I'm thinking about it, really only have three petrified ones. Oh, did I actually deposit them the other day in <clears throat> the last episode or something? Maybe I did. Nice. I'm glad you took that away, you fucking idiot. <laughs> it's my fault. I pushed it one too many times. All right, we'll grab X-ray specs. I actually deposit them like an idiot. We'll also grab just because I'm thinking about it, so I don't forget later. Another escape orb. Let me just quickly double check something real fast. There's a Munchlax. I'm going to avoid him because I don't feel like talking to him. Alright. Apple wise, we're fine. Inviting orbs are good. Let me grab another perfect apple. I guess we'll just do one perfect apple each run. So that we can like walk around a little bit longer. We got plenty of them. I mean, it'll be fine. Alright, we'll check the bulletin board and then we'll wrap things up here. Like I said, next episode, Marvelous Sea, Shiny Magic Carp. Come on, baby. Throw me a bone. Uh, Honor. We don't need Honor. Okay. So, nothing uh, that we need there. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me talk about tacos for 20 minutes. And until next time, I am the Mevermore Daniels. Being your farewell peace and one love. Bang! Thank <laughs> you.